Hello, it's Rob Hutt here again for My Climate and Me and our never-ending mission to answer your questions on climate change. This week we're here with Ben Fogel. Hello, Ben. Hey, Rob. How are you doing? Very well. Fantastic. I hear you're an avid cyclist. I have to admit, I do like cycling. Around the city, I think it's one of the most efficient ways, one of the fastest ways to get around. And I also like to cycle overseas. I think it's uh, good for your overall fitness and also keeps cars off the road, so hopefully good for the environment. And, and Ben, on that theme, what's your climate change question? I've been thinking about this, and rather than posing you a question, I'd like to give you a challenge, okay? A challenge, right, okay. Right. <laughs> As you know, I like traveling. I'm a huge fan of Jules Verne, famously went around the world in 80 days. Is it possible for me to go around the world, not in 80 days, but 80 kilograms of carbon? 80 kilograms of carbon. Well, I know just who we need to speak to, so let's go and find out. So I thought we had to start from scratch with this. First of all, what is carbon? And then how much is a kilogram of carbon? So I'm on my way to the Carbon Trust to see if they can answer those questions for me. Hey Paul, how's it going? Good afternoon. You should grab a coffee and I've got some questions for you. That would be great. Let's Come on go. in. <laughs> so Paul, thanks for having us. Um, so I'm on a mission from Ben Fogel and he wanted to know whether it was possible to travel around the world using only 80 kilograms of carbon. Now we're starting from absolute scratch here, so perhaps you could start off by telling us what is carbon and is it the same thing as carbon dioxide? Technically carbon isn't quite the same as carbon dioxide. Um, carbon's an element like, you know, gold or silver, um, but we like to use shorthand. So when we say carbon, it's short for a whole family of gases. Um, which we call greenhouse gases. The most important of those is carbon dioxide, so that's why we call it carbon. Um, so carbon dioxide, you know, you get that from burning things like oil, petrol, diesel. Um, but there are other greenhouse gases, ones like methane. So you get that from when food rots in landfill or when cows burp. So all of these greenhouse gases, they're really important because if you think of a greenhouse, um, the light hits the greenhouse and the heat stays inside, so it's warmer. Now, these gases do exactly the same thing for the Earth. So the sunlight hits the Earth and the heat remains, which is great, but as with lots of natural things, a certain amount is good, uh, too much is a lot less good. So, uh, that's great, Paul. Let's look at maybe a kilogram of carbon. What is that equivalent to in terms that I would understand? In terms of what a kilogram of carbon dioxide is, or carbon, so one of the ways to think about it is in terms of size. If I had a kilogram of, of carbon dioxide and I stopped it from mixing with the air, it would take up about the same amount of space as a large car trunk. Maybe it's more useful, though, to think about it in terms of what is it associated with. So if I watch TV for 10 hours, that's associated with one kilogram of carbon. Or if you travel by train for nine miles, that's the same. Or if you travel by car for three miles, so obviously a train is much more efficient than a car. There's also what you eat. So one of the most carbon intensive things is meat. So if I have a burger and I have one bite and then I have a second bite, that's my kilogram of carbon right there. So you know, with all of these things, it's all about being as efficient as possible. You know, achieve what you want to achieve, whether that's traveling around the world or something else, but just try and reduce the amount of carbon associated with that. Brilliant, Paul, that's fantastic. I've got my base knowledge now. Um, we're going to go explore some different forms of transport, but I've got a feeling I'm going to have tons more questions. Can I come back to you with those? You can, of course. Look forward to it. Fantastic. Thank you so much.